Good day, my dear students. Kumusta mong tanan? Inaot na mo sa mga panlawas o mga panguna-una, kapiskay o kusog, naon ka kanunin yung sinyo mga pamilya. O kumusta po ang inyong mga subjects at ng online class? Inaot o kirasad. Welcome to another video for the semifinal in our subject, CT23, Computer Network and Security. Topic number 5, Computer Networking Tools and Use. Apan sa dili pa, allow me to greet our university. Happy 11th year anniversary to CTU. With a team, kinagsip nga kasinatian sa virtual nga pagsaulo sa kaig onse nga tuig sa pagka universidad. So, onse na katuig nga university ta, CTU. Salamat sa iyong pagsuporta. Sa dili pa daw po dayon, Tuguti ko sa pag uh, hatag ni nga teksto sa Biblia. Proverbio 3.5 ug 6. Nagyong diri, Trust in the Lord with all thine heart and need not unto thine own understanding. In all thy ways, acknowledge him and he shall direct thy paths. So sa kanang panahon, masalig din kita sa atong labang makagagahog. Ila binagid sa kalisod, no? Ila binagid sa panahon karon. Okay, let's continue. Objectives of this uh, discussion. At the end of the discussion, the student must have identified different tools of networking installation, differentiated different networking tools, gain insights to use properly and safely the different networking tools. So, in our discussion class, Magisguta, all about networking tools, we're in atong magamit sa atong pag install sa network, like cables and devices. Let's proceed. Definition terms, the following terms are needed in this topic. War stripping. I know, nana may idea ani since nakaagi mo sa inyong uh, CT111. War stripping, removing the protective coating of an electric or communication wire ready for connection or in order to connect them to other wires or terminals. So, removing of outer protective coating. So, natin itawag nga ladder term na sa atong cables nga outer jacket or outer coating. So, ito nang strip out in order to create a connection. Another cable termination is the connection of wire or fiber to a device such as equipment, panels, or a wall outlet which allows for connecting the cable to other cables or devices. So, cable termination, muna siya ang paghimo na to of, uh, like for example, patch cord or network cable ready for connection in devices or in uh, port sa atong mga computers o sa atong network devices. So, muna siya ang pag-terminate, pagputol sa cable ready for use. Computer networking tools. So, as you see here, class, in our picture, yung nakita ang usa katol set, wherein makita ninyo, class, ang different kind of tools needed for installing cables and other networking devices. So, na dey crimper, na ay long flyer, flyer, na ay cutter, na ay stripping tool, na ay network uh, RG45, na ay rubber boots, na ay cable tester, yung makita sa nga na yung mga screwdrivers o na yung battery o na sa cable type safety so mga gining isigutan class no kinahang lang kita safe every time safety mga gining isigutan every time maghimutag sa ka-activity safety in the workplace is everyone's responsibility you are most much likely uh, less likely to injure yourself or damage components when using the proper tool for a job. So, once you use the right tool, less ang tendency nga madamage ang equipment or ma-injury ang usak ka cable installer. Installing network requires proper tool with the correct use of its tool and that the right tool is used for the current task. Skilled use of tools at software makes the job less difficult and ensures that tasks are performed properly and safely. So, sa'yo na to ang pagtrabaho, then productive to ang time, and then safety put both devices and the cable installer 
So, in other words, using the right tool for the right job make the work easier and safe. Okay? Different types of networking hardware tools. So, data stripping and cutting tools, termination tools, diagnostic tools, insulation support tools, network software tools, organizational tools, personal reference tools, and internet reference tools. So, muna yung mga tools class na needed na to when solving, diagnosing problems or network problems and its solution. Okay? So, muna yung mga tools na itong when we are a cable installer or network administrator. First here, we have stripping and cutting tools. Stripping tools are used to cut cable jackets and wire insulation. So, if you try to observe an electrical wire or a network wire like UTP cable or coaxial cable, nag is outer jacket or in protect, na protect sa cable from any damage. Kaya usay ang cable madrag, ang uh, iyang tension ana. So, need siya of protective covering. Example here, conduit UTP cable stripping tool, which is shown the figure. Used to remove the outer jacket from the four pair cables. It can also be used for most coaxial cable. So, kaning four pair cables, usually UTP cables ni katong unshielded twisted pair cable. Coaxial mo ng cable nga. Siguro nakita mo sa yung antenna, yung mga TV, so coaxial cable na. The tool features an adjusted cutting blades to accommodate cables with different jacket and thickness. So, kana yung nakita three class nga kini nga circle, kini nga kini dili natin isood ang atong cables. So, niya ma-adjust na siya, depende sa gibag kung nagkita sa cable, niya atong tudo isood three class, niya atong na siyang around para makat ang outer jacket. Okay? Next, we have the electrician scissors and cable knife set shown in the figure so yung gamit to remove cable jackets gapon but in different ways no the knife is used to the large cables such as are those that enter the building from the telco or isp gikan sa telco telecommunication or internet service provider ng cable pwede ni gamitin class to remove the outer jacket this uh, this knife is very sharp to, so gloves should be worn when working with it. So, amping tang, kinahalan tag gloves, uh, PPE, when using this kind of tools, guy, delikado kung masamad in tang tang. Kay hait kay nino, makakat ni dag ko kay nga cable jackets. Termination tools are designed to cut and terminate specific types of cable. The multi pair termination tool, which is shown the figure, is designed to terminate and cut UTP cable and seat connecting blocks. So, kani class nga type sa tool, muna siyang mukat sa atong UTP cable, o muna po siyang mukonect sa mga terminals or gitawag sa connecting blocks sa ato connector. This tool feature can ergonomically design handle, nasa handle rin nga mupilit, mufit sa atong mga kamot, which helps reduce fatigue when trimming wire or seating connecting blocks to wiring rigs. So, muna siya class ang ipasabot ng handle para mas fit sa atong mga kamot niya dilisod ang pag-terminate sa cable. So, kung further uh, information or further uh, observation of using these tools na sa YouTube class. You can search in YouTube about this type of tools and its features. How to use these tools. The impact down tool or impact punch down tool which has shown the figure has two interchangeable blades this tool can terminate wires on 66 and 110 hardware unlike multi-pair termination tool this tool terminates the wire at a time so katong multi-pair class daghan mo to dito mo to ang kalang cables kay in a UTP cable there are 8 wires mo na so dito to huwag ka terminate kanil class tag sa tagsa usually magamit niya sa punch, pan punch panel this tool terminates the one wire at a time. The reversible blade have a punch and cut function on one side and punch only function on the other side. So, maga kita nyo class how to apply and use this tool. Nagya po sa YouTube, no? At nagya po niya mga kit and ito. Then, pwede sa ta maka-provide niyo video. 
Next, we have determination tool, crimper. So, yun nakita class ang pulma sa crimper, no? It is commonly used to terminate unshielded twisted pair cables with RJ45 connector. So, magamit na tayo ng RJ45 connector to create a patch cord. The stripping and cutting blades are very sharp. This is where you insert your cable with the RJ45 and into the crimping or for crimping. So, yun nakita class na ay mga liang. Dili na to i-insert atong RJ45 na may RJ11, RJ35. Depende sa cables atong gamiton. Moving lower, a handy feature is the cutter. Dili nga side glass mo ang cutter. Insert pairs of wires into that and squeeze on the handle cuts all eight of your wires with ease. So to cut the eight wires on sa itong cable, imurang ibutang dia glass din, imurang squeeze ang handles. The teeth are what push the connectors into the wires in your RJ45 and those of course may contact with the network card in the IC or other network device. So muni class ang gamit to, to connect or create a patch cord in combination of UTP cable and RJ45 connector. So muni class ang purma sa RJ45 connector. So nani say walo ka mga pins. Kung matanaw ang cables nato sa UTP walo sad or walo ka mga connectors here or terminals sa ato ingana ni term muni siya class ang mga fit 3A masod man itong walo ka wires a connector used for computer network ethernet cables it is used to create patch cord for network connections common patch cords are crossover and straight through so further information sa theory ang crossover gamit na sa design devices Mga design devices, computer to computer, switch to switch, router to router. Ang straight through, gamito na sa mga unlike devices like computer to switch, switch to router, switch to modem. Basta unlike devices mo na gamito na straight through. Rubber boots helps protect terminal from damage due to foreign objects like dust, insects, and other. So, kaniklas mo ni ang ibutang gilita kita sa parts sa passcord para to protect our RJ45 for foreign objects. Mga foreign objects ka nang dili makadaot ng mga objects sa atong connection like dust, insects or sa panadiha, moist na siguro ang ano, tanan na makadaot. Iyan ang mapatiktahan using these rubber boots. Then hindi sa tanahan kung nai rubber boots. So muna siya class ang output using a crimper and RJ45 ITP cable may walog ka mga pair Uh, wires, yeah, matawag siya ng four pairs kay Parisman, niya yeah, nasa rubber boots. And muna siya yung maporma class. Usaka pot squirt or network cable. So, kining mga wires class, ano siya yung mga ha? Pwede siya tawag ko sila white orange orange, white green green, white blue blue, white brown brown. So, later in our further discussion, atong may bawaan, ano siya yung mga color coding standards and creating straight through and crossover pot squirts. Okay? So, ada yang tak kelas saya kita wak guna atas termination. Diagnostic tools are used to test the connection and quality of cables. So, atau menghibau Andre kelas for the word diagnostic atau menghibau an if naba saya kita wak konsisten ngah connection. Walau abai putol, walau abai lost contact sa imong connection. Masak pun wak ganjo, no? Used to provide access to individual wires inside a telecommunication outlet or jack. This tool is shown a figure. Muna siya, ang tool. A common line. Cord is plugged into the adapter and then into the jack. Technicians can use ometer to our other test devices without having to disassemble the jack. Bandos games in 3 pair and 4 pairs configuration. So magamit ni class to test the connectivity sa atong mga namgay mga port or outlets for network. So usan yung gagamit doon para makakreate ng or makatesta sa ilang connectivity. Ang purma niya maragbadyo. Hindi na ito insert ang atong cable. So, matest na ito ang, ang outlet if naabas ay connection or wala ba yung contact. Okay? Next, when installing uh, cables at walls, there are tendency class na maka higuktag mga uh, power lines, or mga tubo or mga butang na delikado class no like magbarina ka unya may gudi mo lansang or ang, ang kabilya so lisod class dili mo 
mahuman ng ating solution. So, gamit ni Crash para safety ang atong pag-insult sa mga cables. Wood and metal sensors are used to locate metal pipes, uh, mga tubo, wood studs, or joists, or other infrastructure behind a wall under or under the floor. Sensors should be used before drilling for any cabling project. It will find metal studs, conduit copper, piping, electrical lines, rebar, telephone lines, cable lines, nails, and other metal objects. So, yung nagkita class, wood, yung i-detect na ay wood, yung i-detect na ay live wire, AC, na ay puthaw, na ay mga colored metal behind the wall. So, kung mag-install ka ni class, yung mo i-show na dili ka mag-aigo nila. Kaya kung mag-aigo ninyo ni tendency, mag-isip ka butang sa inyong install ng cable. This tool can usually uh, scan through up to 15 centimeters, 6 inches of uh, non-metallic surface like concrete, stucco wall, or vinyl siding. It identifies both the location and deep of piping or rebar. So since class ko, nakatrabaho mga class of uh, being a cable uh, elevator installer, so nakasuway mga class o uh, makaigo gin mga mga puthaw. When it comes to drilling, so importante magamit tag kani wood and metal sensors to detect uh, mga things behind the walls. Na dilip pwede maigo sa tong pag dig or pag create ng buhok class. Especially kining live wire, no? Or simbako, imong mabarinahan ang piping ikan sa second floor, si ikan sa CR dito. So, muagas yung taon ng dihangay mo agas, no? Pugaw. So, careful ta about drilling. Kung nakasalag kong mga building, we need to ask uh, safety engineer about or sa ilang kisa in charge sa building, uh, what particular part of building pwede ta makabuho or pwede ta maka-chip, chipping or drilling. Alright? Next, we have network cable tester. So muni ang kasagaran kami itong class sa mga LAN testing, no? Test the continuity of connection by cables in the network. The main part of the tester was or has a wiring scheme which is hard to decipher if you didn't already know what wa, how are how to wire the total of eight. So pasabot ani class ang iyang wire scheme or ang iyang color coding. The simple remote part of the unit that came off the tester for testing cables. So, kung mag-test na ka ni class, lagyo gini. Example, uh, let's say for example na mo ay 20 meters. So, ang other end of the cable diri, ang pikas puto mo diri. Kung palitan, install na sa wall. So, muna ang pag-test. Pero wala pa, pwede i-test nyo nga dikit track sila. Right? It's also support BNC cable which is what those cylindrical shape receptors of both the center main unit and the remote area. R. The back of the main unit houses your 9 volt battery. So, nani sa battery class na 9 volts. Hmm, medyo kung siya marag lapad purma. Again, muna kami ito ni Swali sa pag-test sa continuity sa mga LAN cables. So, example, another information here. Natay kita wag og straight through cable. So, kining 1, kinan lang mo siga po ng 1 sa PICAS, 2, mga sa PICAS, 3, Four and so on and so forth up to 8 usigan siya nga dungan umika cross over ang magsiga 3 a 1 ug 3 sa pikas 2 ug 6 3 ug 1 4 ug 4 5 5 6 ug 2 7 7 ug 8 8 so makaibaro man ang class during cable termination activity so another here we have cable tester kini class digital no cable tester are used to test Cables for various wiring folds such as wire accidentally mapping to the wrong pin or short or opens with the cable. So, kini ka classes sa cable tester, ang ubal ni class, mahibawaan pag it ang gitas on sa imong cable, mahibawaan sa ang faulty sa imong wiring. Pidari class, mahibawaan kaya po, example na bali, one of, sa straight row, na one of two ni mo, so di na siya maong nga pagka terminate sa cable, pagka crimp. So, here, digital money, mahibawaan sa dimudri ang class na ina siya kuruma lang, medyo digital. Cable certifier. A cable certification tester determines the precise performance of a cable and then records its graphical form for the customer record. So, cable certifier, yan is certified na atong cable has equality 
mo gyapon mahibaw-an niya ang strength sa cable, mahibaw-an sa niya ang gitas on, o mahibaw-an sa niya ang yang continuity or connection para yang i-record ko na in a graphical way para makita sa mga customer. And lastly, uh, we have a multi-tester or multimeter. Multimeters measure EC, DC, voltage, current, electrical current, and other cable and electrical characteristics. Oh, may buwan. Gamit naman siguro mo katong analog type of multimeter or multi-tester. Kini class uh, intended ni for power like EC, electrical current, and other cable electrical characteristics. So, may gamit sa multimeter. Iyang itest o i-measure ang voltahe or ang current o uban pa nga mga karakter sa usaka electrical cable or communication cable. Let's move to installation. Okay. So, na naman, naman naman ta sa hardware, katong stripping, cutting, termination, diagnostic, alita sa installation support. So, kanis sila class, gamit to to support the cable installer in installing the cable para mas gaan o sa'yo ng trabaho. Installation support tools are used to support assess installers to make the cable installation easy and correctly. We have the measuring wheels. So, kaning measuring wheels, pa usay mo, dupa-dupa ta to measure the cables or tanaw na to ang by meter ang cable but this time pwede na ta gamit og measuring wheels no atong siyang itutud may bawal na to no from one point to other point ang gi task on sa atong cable cable installer use uh, often use measuring wheels to estimate the length of the cable run which shown in the figure has a counter mounted on the side an installer rule the well down the intended cable path at the end of the path the counter will display the distance sample Katuod man siguro mo sa guardhouse, guardhouse to library, imo nang sok doon using this type of tool, measuring wheels. Imo ra ni ituod ang kini nga tool padong gikan sa guardhouse padong sa library. So, kibaw ani mo ang yang distance. Okay? So, muni siya sa sa mga insulation support tools. Another one we have the face tapes. Kung sa may face tapes class designed to simplify the retrieval wires inside the wall. So, if you try to observe, siguro kung kita mo electrician na nag-wiring, magamit sa alambre in order to pull a cable sa mga kanang PVC pipe na yung gamiton or ang uban magamit na kanang flexible hose. Kani class, hindi mo na niya siya ipasood. Wire gap mo niya, ipasood din mo sa mga ingon anak. Like, for example, uh, katong ang gingong PVC pipe, hindi mo na siya isood class then dali ra kayo ang pagpagawas ana sa other end imo butang ang cable dili napita sa so, mag hook niya then ini retrieve mo niya class musunod datong cables all right a face tape can be passed through the walls or conduits first the face tape is run into the intended destination or some convenient pathway then the cable is secured to the end of the face tape dili ah pulling the face tape winding in it onto the reel for storage retrieves the desired cable. So, musulod na po itong cables. So, makapasod na ka-cables sa mga conduits or sa imong uh, PVC pipe. For cabling work, fiberglass face tape is safe than steel face tape. The most cable installers pull a string without these cables. This provides a convenient way to pull extra cables later on. The cables can be tied to the pull string and pull through the path rather than having the use of face tape once more. So, pwede po kuno class, magbutang nga rin o mura yung string no? para mas mutaas ang iyong pagbira. Pero magkaya rin sa iyong length sa atong face tapes ah, kini lang siya itong gamit doon. Again, ang gamit na ni class to uh, install cables and conduits or piping atong kanang ng atong PVC pipe. Next, Cable organizers. So, kita mo cable reels. Kita na siguro mo class, no? Aban viewing this picture or looking up this picture. Kita na mo sa iyang gamit. Kani? Kani saan? O kani? During the rough in phase, cable trees, jacks, and rollers are used to support cable reels. Na may tendency class na kung magkadaghan ng cable or magkataas ng cable, isod na siya pag manage, no? Kay bug up na siya, then kanang gahit na sa birahon or 
na ito din si class ingana ng situation madaot ang atong cables so with the help of these tools musayon ang atong trabaho this simplifies the process of laying cables and help prevent injuries the cable tree supports several small reel of cable this allows the cable lister to pull multiple runs of cable simultaneously so pwede na kamubira og daghan nga cable dungan kay mugaan man siya no just like kanang mag timba kay kagtabay di ba gahi bugat mo siya pero mga kag pulley muhumok siya maring ani nga pamaagi Cable jacks and reel rollers are designed for the large wheels that hold backbone cabling. Since many large wheels are reels are too heavy to lift or bug up, cable jacks provide true enough leverage to allow two people to raise them. Once raised, the jacks allow the reel to rotate freely and safely during the pulling process. Reel rollers are used also used to support large cable reels. Muni class ang gamit ani nga mga insulation support tools to make work easier and faster no mugaan ang trabaho din smooth ang flow sa pag uh, deploy nato or pag install nato sa atong mga cables kay usahay gud kung daghan akay cables class isud na ang pagmanage using these tools mugaan ang masayon ang atong pagmanage in pulling our cables next bull wheels so apan being the picture makita mo kung saan ang trabaho niya class no normally used for the first or last turn in pot they can also be used for an offset or turn in the center of a run. Nika cable run pag bira pag install sa cable. A bull wheel is a large pulley that is used in a mechanical cable pulling process. Bull wheels are seldom used to pull a cable by hand. A bull wheel is generally made of aluminum, is at least 30 cm to inches in diameter and support on bearing on its frame. Unlike a pulley, a bull wheel open has two shackles for attachment to fixed point. It can be removed from its frame and put in the cable run from the middle of the cable. So, mura ni siya class ang iyang gamit para humok ang pagbira sa atong mga cable, especially kung long cable run na, no? Tag-as na kayo ng cable na itong birahon. Mura atong i-install sa building or sa kalugar na high places. Mula niya ang gamit na ito class. Usually, itawag yan kung sa pulley, pero mas dako siya ito sa bull wheels. So, muna siya class. Pulley. Use on long open cable runs to support cables to prevent them from dragging on surfaces that could damage the cable sheet. They are also used in surfaces that could be damaged by a cable being pulled across it. Pulleys are used in straight cable runs to support the weight of the cable and reduce pulling friction. Pulleys are used to multiple network cable runs and heavy backbone cable runs. Lightweight pulleys can be used for network cable runs while heavy duty pulleys should be used in backbone cables. So, depending class sa gitakon or gitaghanon sa cables, backbone cabling, daghan mo kayong bugat, so, magamit tagdagko sa gayong ng mga pulleys. So, uh, if you want more information about this, naayidaghanan niya sa YouTube class na itong makita. Then, hopefully, someday, maka-experience mo of install o dinaghan, dinagko ng mga cabling insulation. Especially siguro class kung fiber optic cable, no? Kana mag-install na mo of cable from one place to another, like one barangay to another barangay, one city or one municipality to other municipality, or under the sea insulation. Magamit at mga ingani, kadag po na support tools. Warmes. Oh, kani class, para ni sa mabira. Usually, gamito ni class pagbira sa dagko kayo ng mga fiber optic cable. Muna siya bukot pero muna siya yung hold sa atong cables. Ito siya warmish or kilims grips. Allow pulling ropes to be tied at the end of the cable. The grip is slid over the end of the cable. At last 15 cm or 6 inches are taped tightly with a good quality vinyl elliptical tape. As tension is placed in the cable, the grip grows tighter around the sheet of the cable. This Grips are generally designed for single cable use and should not be used for bundle of network distribution cables. So, usa-usa na ni class na, na pag-support, uh, no? usa na ka-cable ang iyang pwede gamitan. Usually, dagko nga cables. Tanong mo sa YouTube, sa internet, ani dagko nga yung nga cables ang ilang birahon. Di man matag birag, usa kamot-kamot lang. So, gamit sila ani, no? Warmest. Then, these grips came in various sizes to accommodate different size or cable sizes. 
So, depende sa gilak-on sa cable ng ilang birahon. Again, gamit ni si Dilagko kayo nga cable installation. Muni dili birahon class para smooth ang pag-drag or pag-pull sa atong cables. We're talking about cable installation in this topic. Dili sa installation support tools. Okay? Then, cleaning tools. After all, we installed all needed equipments, cabling. So, we need to clean up the surroundings or our environment. Okay, basic na tayo mga tiny particles, itong uh, fragments na natagap or mga outer jacket na natangtang. So, we need to clean up. No? Muning usas sa pinaka-importante nga final activity when it, when it comes to cable insulation and clean up. Cable installers are also need tools and materials for cleaning up sites. Broom, dust pans, vacuum simplify the clean up process. Clean is clean up is one of the final and most important steps in completing a cabling process. A shop vacuum is designed for industrial jobs. So depending class no, depending kung unsa nga klase sa uh, tools, cleaning tools yung gamiton as long as applicable siya o niya makalimpi siya sa imong finished cabling project. Okay? So again, clean up is very important as final step in a cabling project. Then we have network software tools. Okay, ato na yung discuss ang uban na nino. Huwag ato na pong nagamit. A number of software utility programs are available that can help identify network problems. Most of these utilities are provided by the operating system. Yan is atong OS daan. And a CLI or command line interface. The syntax of these commands may be vary between operating systems. Some of the available utilities include IP config. No? Muni nag-display sa atong information in our in network information katong apil to ang host IP address at it must default gateway DNS MAC address no katong IP config slash all tanan to yung i-display ping morning to test the connection between host the cert displays row taken to destination sige lang atong ma-apply po hon net start displays network connections and NS lookup directly queries the name server for information on a destination domain. So hopefully class, in our further discussion and video presentation, ato ni siyang apply. So far, ato na apply, kining IP config, ping. Okay? Katong IP config class all, IP config class release, IP config class renew. So mo ato sila class. Next, organizational tools. Ganong importante may kay class o sa ka network technician or cable installer, network administrator nga organize ang inyang mga butang. It is important that a technician document all services and repairs. Mao gini ang sakto gid unta class no kung mahimo kang technician or installers kinahanglan detalyado ug dokumentado ang tanan nimo nga activities. These documents need to be stored centrally and made available for other technicians. O sa may purpose aside from tracing your work or tracing, maybe, ako, kasoy ko class, nag, sa lista ko sa una, no? I-try ko lista yun sa akong mga, nagkuha naman ko sa una, mga sidelines, o ako makwinta, pili akong kita ng buwana, o tuiga, o gito ka, tuig yung buwan na to, gito ka buwan, then, yung musang maibawaan class, kung kinsay yung mga customer, then masuod sila nimo, then, ako ang chance ko, na ila kang i-refer to other customers. No? So, kung mahimo mong technician po, kung mahimo mong uh, cable installer, network administrator, be sure to do the right way. Ay sa pag na og money. Money will come along. Musunod ng kwarta class as long as you do the right job in the right way. Okay? The documentation can be then be used as reference material for similar problems that are encountered in the future. Good customer service includes providing the customer with detailed description of the problem and the solution. So, mga gini class, kung mahimo mong technician po hon, kinahanglan, tuganan gini nyo ang customer sa tinood. No? At ito pa sa Bible nga, the truth will set you free. Hindi uh, gini nyo yung sila hambugan. No? Do not uh, take advantage of them. Nga, wala sila kay balong. You need to tell them the truth. Kung sa'y guba sa inyong network, kung sa'y guba sa inyong computer, then, provided with Detailed description, documented siguro na siya. Yung ilista, na kay notebook or na kay company, ang mga service centers, na ginay right document for uh, servicing. 
problem, stated problem with descriptive solution. Okay? So, muna siyang mga organizational tools, document, documento in our network activities, either isolation, troubleshooting, or preventive maintenance, or corrective maintenance. Personal reference tools. Gini, personal ni, no? Include troubleshooting guides. Uh, guide sa impact troubleshoot. Siguro, yung muling ma-download or ikaw makahimuan ni personally based on experiences. Manufacturer manuals. Manual gikan sa nagbuhat sa device. Pick reference guides. And a repair journal. In addition to an invoice, a technician keeps the journal of upgrades and repairs. The documentation of the journal should include description of the problem, possible solutions that have been tried in order to correct the problem, and steps taken to repair the problem. So, tulo ha? Description of the problem, possible solution, o ang solution, maning steps to correct the problem, o ang steps taken to repair the problem. So, maning itong i-consider when creating our personal reference tools like troubleshooting guides or repair manuals. Okay, only share my example. Notes. Make notes as you go through the investigation and repair process. Refer to these notes to avoid repeating previous steps and to determine what steps to take next. Then, imoy notes. Ang imong mga possible steps or possible yung mga gibuhat when it comes to troubleshooting or investigating the problem and it's repair process. Imo siyang itik now, no? Kung sa'yo nga configuration ang imong giusag, kay kung gusto ka ibalik ni mo class na kay idea o na kay notes. Journal. Document upgrades and repairs that you perform. The documentation should include description of the problem, possible solution that have been tried in order to correct the problem, and the steps taken to repair the problem. Muna siya ganihan. Mamawaran niya siya ganihan. Be sure to note any configuration changes made to the equipment or any replacement parts in the repair. So, kinanglan, well documented ang tanan class when it comes to upgrading, installation, repair, preventive maintenance, or corrective maintenance. Muna yung kinis class ang professional way of dealing with this type of activities. Especially, may mga network administrator, cable installer, or network maintenance. History of repairs. Make a detailed list of problems and repairs. Detailed ha? Less, including the date, replacement parts, customer information. The history allows technician to determine what work has been performed on a computer in the past. So, kung regular customer na ni mo class, pwede ni mo matanaw ang iyong history. Uy, last month mo ni iyong guba. Ayang kaibo. Last month or last year nasunog ba ron ang say, nasunog na iyong switch or na Ni, ang iyang uh, computer ang iyang adapter network adapter na problema or na ay lost contact ang iyang cables so depende class sa lista para next time mag repair ka class may bawa ni mo ang iyang history uy, gamay na nagkuwang ni iyang router or gamay na nagkuwang iyang board maguba naman ni no, sumato naman, so makaibaw na kadaan unsa nga mga parts ang angay i-replace, uy, iabot naman ang iyang lifespan mo na yung hinay na siya ng mo na yung marag mulag siya matutpas mga bata magduha sa online siguro class you need to replace the parts kaya naman na sa lifespan ang atong mga computer parts or our network devices okay internet reference tools the internet is an excellent source of information about specific problems and solutions the following are internet reference tools so aside from our discussion aside from other technicians the internet, no? Usa gini sa source of information na makatabang sa usa ka tao to improve whatever competency na asya, especially kung naka sa network, naka sa information, no? Happy tanan class nga competency kung gusto nimo improve imong makuha sa internet, especially kung naka sa IT, information, industrial technology. First, so computer problems, network problems. So internet is a very good source of problem solving uh, queries. Put kamo tana dito, di kamo type sa imong questions, problems, and that give uh, internet give you solution. 
So first here we have internal search engines like google.com, ask, yahoo, Bing. So type lang ito, keyword. So mahatag sila answers sa mga questions regarding computer and work problems. News groups is an online discussion forum. So mo join ang mga groups which uh, particular in computer and working activities like bullshooting problems, productive uh, and preventive maintenance. So, mungkin lang kang mga grupo kung in mutakot sila mga ingani na concerns and issues. Manufacturer at facts or ito sa frequent ask questions from the customer or buyers to the manufacturer. Mungkin na sila mga kasagaran ng mga punta na then ang manufacturer sa class mga tag sa tuwag. So, pwede kang makakuha at rin idea. Then, online computer manuals can be viewed or downloaded online. So, makadunod ka mga computer manuals, networking device manuals, or in magtabang mga class, in tracing the problem or in your network installation. So, usually, i-provide din sa mga website, sa manufacturer, or sa company. Online forums and chat, a good source network problem and solution. So, mag-appeal ka mga online forums, chat, ito siyong problems, mga tag solution, or ikaw ang silang mutsa ni mo, both problem, ikaw sa mga tag is It's a showy process in makatabang ka sa grupo, at the same time, tabangan sa tagas grupo. And some issues with regards to network or computer problems. The technical websites, muna nga refresh sa mga websites, mga mahat ni mo, technical approach solution for a network or computer problem. Like, uh, this quick crunch, gizmo, the verbs, being surveyed, part, digital trends, uh, tech republic, o katong how stuff works. So, kanyang mga technical websites na makarabang ng class, when it comes to finding a solution for a particular network or computer problem. So, so this is our reference, adapted compiled from CCNA IT Initials, PC Hardware and Software version 4.0 Cisco Networking Academy. So, dito tayo nagwag base ang uban dito po sa internet to gikuha. So, mga reference atong topic number 5. So, thank you and God bless. Don't forget to comment in our videos as part of your attendance and na mo yung plus points ay sa inyong grado. Kung nang ibutang sa inyong oral ang score nyo ay as part of your oral. Comment na mo may nga learning insights with your name and suksya. So, thank you for watching me in this video and I hope you learned something out of it and keep moving class, keep doing your part as student and also we are keep also our part as instructors. In worry class, uh, if possible, masabot ko niyo sa talang panahon as long as makaya pa sa atong time but be responsible in doing your activities not only in my subject but also in your other minor subjects. Ako magaingon, ang tinunan nga nagpakabana, may hayag nga ugma, apat ang tinunan nga pasagaron, ugma madag-umon. Dahang salamat, o God bless yung tanan.